Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a gun review over the Smith & Wesson Model 629 44 Mag Hunter. I've owned this handgun for about three or four years now. I've put a lot of time behind it at the range and in the woods. I've been able to take a few deer with it and I thought it'd be a perfect time to do a gun review. So let's get into it. So to start off, let's get into the specs. This gun comes in just under four pounds, 3.86 pounds is what they have on their website. It is overall length is 14 inches and the barrel length is seven and a half, which is something I was gonna mention. Uh, most states have a law on hunting handguns, what the barrel length should be. Uh, for Indiana, I believe it's four inches. Um, I'd have to double check, but I know it's, a, it's four, four and a half inches, I believe. But most states have a requirement on that, so that's something you should look at if you are thinking about getting a hunting handgun. Uh, and so that's the main reason I also bought this, because I knew it was legal. Um, and like I said, this comes in in 44 mag. I believe you can shoot 44 special out of this, but Double check, um, double check that. Uh, I've never done it before, but I believe you can shoot both and then have the ability to shoot 44 Special with a little less kick for even more practice or probably cheaper as well. But have not done it yet, just shot 44 mag rounds out of it. The whole gun is stainless steel. Uh, this, it's obviously a two-tone finish, so even the black stainless steel, they just did this cool little two-tone finish, which I really like, all the accents on the hammer, the opening for your revolver, your the actual chamber part, and then down the barrel. It comes with a uh, muzzle brake, which is awesome because 44 mag is a big round. Uh, and obviously this is silver as well. So that's some pretty cool things. You don't really see that in many handguns. Either they're usually all black or all silver. Uh, it's a pretty cool look, which is one of the reasons I really like, wanted to get it. So like I said, muzzle brake is amazing. It really makes this handgun really manageable to shoot. Uh, for, especially for if you're a first time handgun hunter or first time buying shooting handguns a lot, I think this is a great option because the gun's heavy and it has the muzzle brake. It really doesn't kick that much when you shoot it, especially if you're putting on a scope as well. Like This gun's probably more in the five pound range now that I have a scope on it and everything, but it's a great starter handgun for you know practicing and just getting into it and learning how handguns shoot in your hand. So this handgun is a dual action revolver. Uh, and also I kind of forgot to do this, but this gun is empty, as you can see here, nothing in the chamber. So dual action basically means you can pull a trigger and shoot, or you can cock the hammer back where it locks like this and then just pull the trigger. Uh, I typically just pull the hammer back and shoot. Uh, just It's just easier to be steady on it and pull the trigger. Uh, and safer uh, that's probably the best way so this gun does not have a safety um, and that's because it is a dual action gun so if you're really gonna set the gun you really have to pull the trigger to shoot and then also you know or pull the hammer back and then it's really ready to shoot but so basically the safety is the dual action purpose of it and most dual action revolvers I think are made this way but you know let me know if that's not true but I we have a couple back here in our house and same thing dual action no safety on them it does come with this awesome Picatinny rail, so you don't have to add anything on it, which is another awesome thing. So you don't have to pay for that. It just goes across the whole gun and um, allows you to put whatever optic you want to put on it, if you want to put optic on it. This gun does come with, or did come with when I bought it, a red dot, like a cheaper red dot sight that you could put on it. Um, I used, I played with it a little bit, but I actually bought another one, not too expensive of one. I forget, it was like maybe like a hundred bucks. And that's actually what I used, started out hunting using with this gun. Um, but after that, I decided to finally upgrade to this scope, which is, this is Nikon's Force XR handgun scope. Of course, they do not make scopes anymore, um, but I went with their handgun scope just to see how it was and I really like it. So I recommend if you're going to a scope, look up handgun scopes just so the eye relief is the right amount with shooting a handgun. Some additional notes on this handgun, it comes with a rubber grip. Uh, I'm not sure if you can switch this out. You might be able to. I know Smith & Wesson does that on a lot of their handguns. We never have. I really like this one. Feels great in the hand. You're never going to slip. It's a really nice rubber grip. Never had any issues with that. And uh, it also holds six rounds. Uh, most, I think that's pretty standard, especially for 44 mags. Certain bigger rounds usually are only about five, I believe. But 
first impressions on this handgun, all in all, absolutely love it. It is a dream to shoot. Uh, we recently just took it to the range just to re make sure it was sighted in. I'll drop a photo right now and show you, but it's sub MOA easy, like right out of the box, you know, right out of the box, no problem. We, we've been shooting all kinds of ammo. We got some of this Buffalo boar. This is actually what I hunt with this mag tech 44 mag. This is 240 grains. This gun seems to like heavier bullets. So that 240 and this Buffalo bill that are 255, it seems to like, uh, we tried shooting these 200 grains. These are these, let's see, cowboy action cartridges, HSM. This is their 44 mag 200 grain uh, let's see round nose flat point it doesn't shoot as well with this for some reason uh, but like every gun you got to shoot a bunch you could shoot a ton of different rounds so you finally find the right one but luckily we have like four or five different boxes of ammo but we really seem to like this mag tech so i recommend that if you guys are looking for it either that or this buffalo bill stuff it's uh, or buffalo boar buffalo bill buffalo boar stuff it, it they both shot really well but yeah i'll post a video of that or I'll post the photo of that and you can see what my last group was. Um, and it's just awesome. It, I'm very confident to shoot out to 70 something yards with this gun and no problem killing a deer. I was, like I said, I've been able to harvest a few deer. Uh, my first one dropped right at like 10 yards. Uh, second one shot at 25 yards. She's looped around and uh, died right inside of me. You know, only ran about 50 yards. So great round, 44 mag. It's a big, big round coming out of it. Uh, but very pleased with it and really happy for deer hunting. I highly recommend if you're thinking about getting into it, I think 44 mags a great round for handgun hunting. I know you can, most states you can use honestly any kind of caliber, any attic, there's very specific calibers that are allowed for handgun hunting. So I had to go with a specific caliber for that. So 44 mag highly recommend for deer hunting. My last few notes on this, I carry this gun in a chest holster with a leather strap that goes right across to my chest here and usually just sits right here, which is another great benefit of handgun hunting. Uh, you know, you don't have a big rifle strapped across that's 40 something inches or whatever and kind of can get in the way when you're trying to maneuver, you know, handgun, you can just easily just slide up anywhere and just, it's really easy to move and compact. So that's the other reason I love handgun hunting. It's just nice and easy to carry. And especially with how close quarters, how close we shoot here, you know, I hardly ever shoot to a hundred yards just because of the woods. But that's another great way thing about getting into handgun hunting. It's just really light usually and, you know, easy to move. So, but that's really all I have on this handgun. I, like I said, I really, really like this and I really like 44 mag. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. But uh, I highly recommend this handgun. I don't know if you're going to be able to find it. I had my gun guy look for this forever and they finally found it like and was like, it's only one left. So I had him buy it right away. And, uh, you know, I, if you see it and you're thinking about getting into handgun hunting and thinking about 44 mag is around, highly, highly recommend it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any thoughts on this or have had this handgun, but I really like it and haven't had any issues with it. Um, and if you have any questions about it, just let me know and I can, uh, I can let you know my thoughts or hopefully answer your questions on it. But um, thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you like these videos. I'm planning to do a lot more gear reviews um, now. I know I've been doing a lot of gun reviews, but these are just some of the guns I really liked after hunting season. And uh, I'm about to start doing some of my backpack reviews, hunting gear reviews, and show you what I like, what I don't like, what's worked for me, and just to hopefully give you guys some helpful tips on stuff you're thinking about buying. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and like the channel if. Uh, if uh, you really like these videos. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon.